Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and as usual in these video series we're going to try and edit a photo using only the uh, modules that we've already discussed in the dark table from A to Z series. I have not edited this photo before so this is not a prepared session. We'll just go through the modules one by one and we'll go through my thinking process about the photo and how I want to edit it and this way we can learn both from what I do well and what I do less well. All right, so let's start with the white balance. It is a nice trick to use shade preset for sun, uh, sunset and sunrise photos. It emphasizes the reds and it can give a nice effect to your photos, at least I always like to try it and see if or whether I like it or not. Yeah, let's stick with that. Let's toggle the over and under exposure indication. It's quite an overexposed area here where the sun was rising. can fix that and the exposure I think that will be okay we can work on changing the tones later yeah that looks okay well I thought I wanted to keep this image as it was the format but now that I look more closely at it I might want to crop it too much on the side and I would like to emphasize the mist here without taking too much of the road. Let's try that. Okay. Maybe a different aspect ratio. It's on freehand. Wow. Let's try a wide aspect ratio and see how that works. How does that look? Yeah, that's nicer, right? There was too much going on around. I uh, don't think the rest of the photo was, was contributing much. It's mainly about the windmill here, the rising sun and the road to guide the, the eye towards them. I think that works. All right. What next? Do we need to change anything in the highlight reconstruction? I don't think there's a lot of detail in here, so we probably won't gain much by changing this. Well, especially if it changes the color. Nah, I'll reset that. Do we have to do anything with color reconstruction in there? Did that make any difference? Don't think so. Hmm. I think this doesn't need to be very high. Let's see. Are we making any difference? Saturated colors. If I choose a hue. towards orange is that making any difference to be honest I can't see any difference in there no well, it does look all right anyway so I don't know why I was bothering with it 
moral force of habit I'm gonna disable it what next well uh, the tone equalizer module I think we're going to need to brighten the shadows a bit at least we'll have a look about how it looks I want to change the contrast so we can see the mist more but I don't want too much detail in the shadows I like the yeah black outline kind of effect as opposed to actual details in the windmill or whatever's around it we can afford to have a bit more detail I think in the road at least so that we can see that there is a road let's see what we can do all right it's here I'll enable it hmm that's uh, quite narrow I think we might need to work on that one to see how it is well let's try the automatic version and see what that does looks okay a bit too far to the right maybe let's see push it a bit towards the middle looks to be one zone now doesn't it Put it on RGB some. Yeah. Okay, I want to touch the rest and let's see what what we can get. Whoa. What we can get out of that. Hmm. Okay. Let's work on it like this and see if that helps. Yeah, that's fine. Do we need to darken the sh the highlights? I don't think so. Yeah, you can see more detail here. It needs more work, but I think for this instance of the tone equalizer, I'm gonna keep it at this. I'm going to try to use the other stuff that we uh, talked about, which is local contrast and tone curve let's enable the local contrast okay do we need to change anything in the settings I don't want more detail anyway do we need maybe we're trying to see we're starting to see too much in here Shall we try working on the shadows a bit and see what happens? Alarm Daro. Uh, I was pushing it the wrong way. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Now I'm going to use the tone curve 
to lighten this path here a bit so we'll do a drone mask okay let's hide the mask and where is this on the it's around here okay let's lighten it a bit just there too much change the feathering maybe as well a bit the contrast you can of course display the mask to see what you're doing you can see what you're changing of course I, I I'm more interested in the path than in the grass around it but you don't want the change to be too abrupt because then it would look really unnatural so you'll try to taper it as yeah uh, as best as you can what's the effect now mm, might be a bit too much Okay. Let's Well, since we're trying things out, I'm going to disable that and try doing the same with another tone equalizer. With the drone mask, we can get the one from the tone curve so we know that we're using exactly the same one and I'm just going to use it as it is with a bit of feathering I'm not going to bother with the advanced or anything hmm. let's see Actually, the effect here is a bit more subtle. Of course, the whole picture is dark, so we don't want this one to become too light. Uh, it's just we want to make it a bit noticeable so that it can help lead the eye towards the main subject. I actually like that. Okay. Maybe a little bit less here. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. I won't touch the contrast brightness saturation. We've already worked on the contrast using the tone equalizer and I think we're gonna look at Velvia or Vibrance for the saturation. I think I'm going to try Velvia. Let's see. Well, that's already quite nice. Do we need to push it a little bit more? Great. And this photo is mainly color and shadows so we'd really want the colors to pop otherwise it's just yeah there isn't enough uh, in, the, in the photo to make it work of course all of this is subjective so take it with a grain of salt what about the mid-tone bias well whoa way too much 
okay can either reset that or pull it a little bit down is that too much no I think I like that looks good now color correction do we want to play around with that well we can try but what would make sense here I don't want a lot of color cast in the shadows do I let's try first the highlights push it a bit towards the red not too much it's easy to overdo this what does that do hmm that's nice yeah happy with that the shadows hmm, not sure I want to touch the shadows but okay let's let's see push it a bit towards the green and blue too much you can see a bit of green here does that help does it add or does it subtract to the from the image let's see now oh, maybe it's just enough to add a bit more detail in in this part yeah happy with that okay let's take a snapshot and see what we did we'll do it just after well first let's compress the history stack and then crop and rotate take a snapshot click on it and on here so original and what we did yeah I like it I think uh, we managed to actually add some pop to the photo and highlight the uh, morning colors and the actual atmosphere it was a really misty morning yeah I'm happy with it what do you think well that's it for this time uh, I hope you really liked it uh, if you have any questions or corrections or uh, ideas or suggestions just please leave them in the comments below and I'll look at them and until next time, bye-bye.